give it a minute. A literal minute. Could have said hello by now. peeps happy monday and merry vlogmas day one obviously it is still the 30th of november when this is coming to you but you will be seeing this on december the 1st so it is technically the first day of vlogmas although we do have to wait one more day for advent calendars which i'm so excited about so uh yeah i got the lining cut out for the coat yesterday and i got the skirt coat skirt sewn up and then also the bodice of the coat this needs pressing and then i need to sew the seam um seams i need to sew the seams yes I need to sew the seams on the sleeves and set those into this then i can attach this to the skirt and i can put that on my mannequin for the lining the bias and the hem to drop which means that i will then be able to start work on mounting the exterior fabric to the interlining fabric which is a cotton flannel then i will be able to start piecing the body of the coat together so it doesn't sound like a lot but there are a lot of pieces to this so it will be it will take a while to do i, I, I don't know how far i'm going to get today i need to replace the buttonholes because i've had to add an inch of length to the bodice of my coat and there is meant to be three buttonholes on the coat and they are above the lengthen and shorten line and I think that's going to look a little bit odd I think I need to respace them so I'm going to work out the position of the lowest buttonhole before I added the extra inch of length I'm going to reposition that and then I will put the middle buttonhole between those two either that or I will see what it looks like with four buttonholes but I need to do that on the paper pattern so I can transfer all those markings over to the uh, bodice under collar front so that I can start work on some bound buttonholes as well I am going to try that I'm a little bit worried about the fabric that I've picked whether it's going to work for this I might end up having to use a different thinner fabric for the lips of the buttonholes we shall see i don't want to chicken out again and go with snaps which is an option that the pattern does give you i could also try making machine buttonholes but again it's going to be going through a lot of layers so i'm thinking band buttonholes will be the best option i just need to pull my finger out and learn how to do them I've got three different methods. I've got the did you make that method? The lady wrote a ebook on that. I've got my tailoring book method and I've got Gertie's method that she's got in her pattern as well. All of which are slightly different. <laughs> so uh, fun times. I will practice on the scraps of fabric because I have many scraps of fabric so I will practice on that first. If you were at the hangout yesterday you will see, oh no you will see in the vlog that goes out this afternoon as well that mum has been quilting the activity mat for me. It's starting to look awesome, she's doing all sorts of different things to all the big animal faces which is really really cool. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. And it's looking like I will be spending New Year's Eve with Wilson's family, possibly, depending on how I can quarantine myself afterwards um, so I might be able to give it to them in person as well which would be really cool so yeah I need to press this sew the sleeves set those in attach that to the thing and then I think I'll start working on buttonholes placement and practice wish me luck <laughs>
have got my coat lining done. It is very bright, very bright indeed. I've gone through my outer coat pieces and I've separated them into units. So I have all of the skirt pieces, including the pockets here. I've then got the facing pieces, hem facing and front facing pieces for the, for the inside of the coat. I've got the sleeves in units together and then the bodice with all of the different interfacing pieces in a unit together as well. I've decided I'm going to start work with the skirt. I'm going to mount the cotton flannel to the outer fabric. Then I'm going to sew those pieces together. So I'm going to mount two pieces and then sew them to the corresponding pieces on the skirt and that's just so that i don't get bored with just mounting on fabric and then sewing the skirt all in one go just to give me a little bit of variety i need to remember that i need to put the pockets into the side seams so i've got those out as well so i'm going to sort this pile into the order they need to be stitched in and then i can start attaching everything which is exciting Christmas spirit again And one place in my heart That was there from the start I want that Christmas spirit again We haven't had any news today so I have been quite productive though I've got the skirt outer interlined the pockets in and it all put together finished off the skirt um, coat lining that's all ready to go and I have just finished making the sleeves I have tried the bias strip method again for gathering in the top I think I'm still gonna need to put some gathering stitches in it does say to use wool fabric for the strip so maybe I need to use a sturdier fabric I've also sewn 
the back panel together. Now, <laughs> I'm a bit annoyed by the pattern placement on this, but not enough that I am going to recut it because it's the back of the coat. It's going to have a really big shawl collar over the top. And when it's on the body, I don't think it's going to be that noticeable. I cut this out with the right side of the fabric facing down and the wrong, wrong side of this fabric is... basically just grey like that so I couldn't see what I was cutting out which might have been a mistake but never mind like I said I'm not gonna recut because I want to keep what fabric I have left because I'm hoping to get another garment out of it also it's the back of the coat it'll be fine it will be fine I'm really pleased with the skirt and the pockets nice cotton flannel pockets so they'll be nice to put your hands into making good progress i've basically done everything apart from the facings that i can do that don't involve buttonholes because i want to that's what i'm going to work on tomorrow first thing repositioning the placement of the bound buttonholes and then attempting them for the first time ever that's another reason i don't want to recut the back because if i need to recut the front i need to make sure i have enough fabric that is the plan so yeah i'm really pleased with how everything has gone but i'm gonna head back up to mine it's just gone six o'clock so i'm gonna go and have some dinner and uh, try and find something to do this evening i am back up at mine i do have the heater on but it's going to be going in and out because we've kind of got to temperature and it only comes on when it gets below a certain temperature so yeah we haven't heard anything today we've we've had some news but not an official thing and we've been told that it could possibly take another five days before we get an official date so oh uh, the starting a large project has clearly not worked but never mind Mum and I had been saying that we were going to start the Vogue, I think it's 9044 coat, which is a craftsy class that we bought. We were saying that we were going to start that to christen the new sewing room. And we're kind of thinking that we might start it before we move to again tempt fate, because clearly one giant coat is not tempted fate enough to give us a moving date. So let's start two giant coats. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's one of those things. It's one of those things. Although, I was feeling quite down and low and just, just stressed, as you guys have known. But I have gone through my Epidemic Sound account listening to Christmas songs that I can use for the time lapse for the next month. And that has really put a smile on my face. I started watching cheesy Christmas movies two days ago. I know we've got calendars to look forward to tomorrow. I know I've got Vlogmas to look forward to with you guys, which is, it's just, it really has cheered me up massively. So, yay. Yay. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's one of those things. Lots of people keep asking if it's always this difficult. No, there's just been a lot of stuff that's happened with this move that was unexpected. And it's just one of those things just one of those things yeah i'm loving how the coat is turning out as much i've been watching like i said i've been editing the footage from today and i was just at the beginning i was like oh yes i'm going to immediately start working on the bound buttonholes because that's pretty much the first thing that they want you to do in the um, instructions <laughs> and i totally chickened out <laughs> i totally chickened out i'm literally doing absolutely everything i can until i have to get to the point where i do the bound buttonholes <laughs> I'm working myself up massively and they'll probably be fine the fabric that i'm using i don't think it's I think it's poly polyester of some description. I don't think it's wool. If it was wool, I got it at an amazing bargain because I think I talked them into giving it to me for £11 a metre. <laughs> and the other stuff that I got from M. Rosenberg that is the same type of fabric, just a different design, was £12 a metre. But it's actually pressing really well and it's holding a crease really, really well. When it's in a single layer by itself, it might be thin enough to attempt to do the lips of the buttonholes without having to use an even thinner fabric. I have those in my stash, so it's not the end of the world if I do need to use those, but yeah. That has been my day. I'm sorry there is not more exciting news about house moves. We are kind of coming to a point where we've given ourselves a cutoff date. If we can't complete before the cutoff date, then we'll move in the new year, just so that we are not gonna be living in boxes at Christmas basically because the idea of that really does not appeal to any of us but the the, the cutoff date that we've given ourselves is quite a way away yet so we'll, we'll see we'll see how this all goes it'll be fine it'll be fine totally fine 
Uh, yeah, but I'm hoping with the progress that I'm making, I'm hoping I can probably get. Well, I don't know. I'm. I'm. Let, if I was doing normal buttonholes, I think I'd get be able to get the coat finished tomorrow. But I am not doing normal buttonholes. I'm doing special buttonholes that I need to learn how to make. I'm hoping I can get a fair away through progress tomorrow and have a finished coat by Wednesday evening at the latest. Let's see how that goes. Let's see how that goes. And then yeah, Mum and I will start the next coat making endeavours, both of us together, and we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Fun times. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my day. I've really enjoyed my day. It's been fun making those things and it's also, as I say, it's been fun getting into the Christmas spirit. So happy first day of Vlogmas and I'm really looking forward to the rest of this month. So I will see you all tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.